Hi guys, um, this is the dash of a 16 Hyundai i40 and we've got every kind of light on here, we've got ABS lights on, we got check engine lights on, tire pressure and monitoring lights on, um, got an airbag light on there, um, this thing is lit up like a Christmas tree right now. Uh, also, um, the car is running there now. I just it was out in the yard. I just started to bring it in. When it did start it as well, and the radio is working. Solution. As you can hear there, this whole screen, even though the radio was working, this whole screen was just blank. Uh, whether that's another issue that is related to all of this, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, we we'll get a we we'll get a scan tool on this and we'll see where that takes us. But uh, yeah, kind of crazy stuff happening here on this I forty. Let's we'll see where this brings us. Could be interesting. Notice there as well. Minus forty. It's reading there as well. So yeah, really strange. And what does this say? Check active air flap system. Don't know what that means, <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure we'll find out. Okay, guys, a system scan on the Hyundai. A lot of modules grayed out there. Um, what you see in green is online and reporting no codes. What you see in red is online with codes, and what you see in gray is not equipped or not they are not responding now ECM high power and ECM low power I would imagine two of them would be talking or doing something let's just see what the AC engine RPM fault can signal vehicle speed sensor can engine cooling temperature sensor can signal APT sensor fault can signal. Okay, a lot of can faults here that the air condition is giving out about. And this engine control, high power, not equipped like. Oh, engine control, low power, not equipped. I'll just give you that is a system list. Yeah, that's concerning. Engine control, high power, not equipped. Engine control, low power, not equipped. Anti-lock and brakes system, not equipped. We do have electronic parking brake on it. Electronic parking brake, not equipped. Airbag. all are getting a bit strange like we have that beeping noise now is some of the lads leaning up against the car and that's the parking center is going nuts um but yes okay we have some kind of i don't know can issues modules offline it's getting interesting okay we'll i'll keep going yeah, I don't know, I'll keep going with this and see what I'll do next. Let's think about this. Okay, lad, on this Hyundai, what I forgot to mention too, was while the car was running, um, no rev counter working there either. Um, pretty obvious because the, uh, well, that's fair enough, I suppose, because ECU, I don't think it's online. Strange that it's even starting, even car is even running, that is strange. But anyway, it is. Um, <coughs> what I did was, I went through fuses in here and I went through fuses inside in the car. Um, I didn't find anything gone, no fuses blown or anything like that. So what I did was I connected up my breakout box to the DL16 uh, plug. Going up and under there, it's under the steering wheel. And there's the breakout box. And I broke out the Pico scope. So on pin six, we have can high is going to be my blue channel and on pin 
14 we are going to have can low which is going to be the red channel and then we're using chassis ground so that's the breakout box and this is my can signal from the Hyundai which is very very messed up pause that there yeah. very messed up indeed it looks to be can high which is the blue to me it looks like can high is nearly getting pulled to ground and it's bringing down can low with it what I'd be expecting to, to see on these is a mirror image of each other starting at can high starting at 2.5 going up to 3.5 and can low starting at 2.5 going down to 1.5 and that is really really messed up and wrong um, what I'm seeing here on the scope so no fuse has gone um, a lot of modules offline obviously because of this it, it, something is, is going on either we have a wire short at the ground or we have a module short this can hide the ground I believe I don't know but uh, that's where I'm at now I'm on a hunt um, what I did do is I did disconnect we know communication with the ABS module I did connect disconnect the ABS module which is down there that didn't do any improvement to uh, the waveforms and I did the same with key on engine off I done the same with the ECU and I still had that messed up um, can signals on the scope so that's where I'm at now I'm trying to figure out what is is it a wiring issue or is it a module issue now at this point but these are very very wrong and to me it looks like the can high one more so than anything if you see the blue channel it's right on the zero or can low is just above it so yeah it could have shorted ground because of a module or wiring issue I'm not sure but I'd have to find out why anyway that's the mission okay lads back to the, the Hyundai um, as I shown there anyway that's my can signals all messed up and as you know um, loads of different modules offline with every light on in the dash known to man <laughs> right what have I done I started looking for these modules and start disconnecting one by one to see would it change anything up here for me on the scope so you can see inside uh, has been dismantled somewhat um, handbrake module disconnected got in at the airbag module which is buried in under here disconnected um, steering electric steering module disconnected and all them made no change to my signal out here then the active air flap was disconnected the ABS module was disconnected even the lights adaptive lighting had been disconnected all to see would anything change over here nothing did back at the back then in behind the bumper we have a, a tire pressure monitoring module in behind here up underneath that was disconnected again no joy i did notice a little bit of wetness in the boot but there's nothing in that area anyway but uh, up here on the door you can see the door card on the boot door is disassembled and look at that a camera is in there right so i come up here that wire here coming out and I don't know, can we can I zoom you in there on the scope while I disconnect this disconnected and now we have good can signals there's that wire disconnected so now we're back we're back online here so that is the problem lads that camera at the back and as I said there pause that and as I said there before what I was expecting was 
can high which is blue can low is red starting at two and a half can high going to three and a half which it is now can low starting at two and a half going to one and a half which it is now as well so that camera has been causing all the issues back here it's driving the can communication network crazy um so yeah um i started in here and i was actually running out of modules <coughs> to disconnect um until i came across that camera back there so we have the cause found i'm going to start putting everything back together on this hyundai and see about getting uh, a camera um and yeah i'm going to start reassembling here now and then as we'll see in a minute i'll go through my scan tool to see have these come back on line i'm sure they will looking at the scope but that's what i'm going to do now put all this stuff back together and i'll do a code scan for you to see what's back everything should be back i believe okay lads with the camera disconnected you can see there good can communications and everything is back online couple of ones grayed out but that's because this car model is not fitted with that system but we have the ABS the airbag uh, ECU all in back online tire pressure monitoring system uh, active air flaps it's all back online anyway a lot of codes there which is to be expected but uh, we'll clear them out there now leave that do his thing so uh, problem 100% found uh, the rear the camera on the rear boot door going through them there nicely and there's our can lines pause that there can lines nice clean can communication lines there leave that do his thing So yeah, this Hyundai, I have it back together inside, everything back connected up and I did leave that disconnected. I'll go in here, try get a camera, try look about a camera, see what's happening there. It is needed now I'm sure, try get one. That's it anyway, you can see, we're, we're back online. We have the problem found. Right lads, it looks like I'm gonna have problems getting this camera. So for now, the wire goes across here. Look, it's just, it's outside now. I have that tree disconnected. The wire goes across here and I have it unplugged here. I think I'm gonna put it back together and leave it unplugged until we can get one maybe still looking all good there um so yeah main dealers don't really know could be a big waiting list on this so for the moment i'm going to put it back together with this camera uh, left unplugged get this man going for the time being so yeah unfortunately we don't have a camera to try get this thing back 100 percent but for now we'll just go with this right lads there's the dash of this hyundai now no lights on everything seems to be working perfectly bring you back to the scan tool codes all cleared out and none come back so yeah, that's that's a fix, lads. That's us out of this one. Unfortunately, I don't know when I'm gonna get my hands on that camera at the boot door. Um, I don't know. Um, maybe the customer may not even want it now, but just to keep him going and not to have this thing parked up for two weeks, two months. The main dealer said they don't know when they could get their hands on one, but um, yeah, that's it.
I left it disconnected. I had to go out, take the trim off outside the boot door um, to disconnect it from, say, the outside rather than what I did earlier with, on the inside because the little button and the number plate lights were all going through that block connector inside the boot door. But uh, now, just uh, that's back together now, that connector, and now all I'm left with is the... All I'm left with now is uh, the rear camera disconnected. So yeah, um, crazy CAN bus. Um, happy to have it fixed. And uh, yeah, everybody, thanks for watching. And thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you again in the next video, hopefully. Um, thanks again, lads. Bye. Okay, lads, it's been a few days and the Hyundai is back. Um, went back to the customer with no issues. But obviously, uh, he was down on a reversing camera. But um, talking to him, his reversing camera wasn't working with the last uh, eight months or more. And uh, I thought we were just going to leave it off. As I said, as I showed you, disconnected. But um, he took it away and he was driving for the last few days and no issues. But yeah, just down on a reversing camera. But we managed to get our hands on a second hand one so there it is that's out of an 18 hyundai so we're going to try this and hopefully that works and get his gets his reversing camera working back on the hyundai so yeah it's not too bad a couple of tens there going across holds this thing on and that plug there um the door card, you have two eights size, no, not two eights, sorry, two Phillipses there, and two Phillipses there, and the rest are just clips, so it's not too bad to change. So I'll get this in and we'll see if this one works for us. Um, and yeah, it's like bonus footage here on the Hyundai. Okay, there's my uh, reversing camera fitted. Let's see what happens. Inside the car. Yay, hey, no crazy lights on anyway. Like we had before. Into reverse, yay. We have now a working reversing camera. Oh, well, that's it, uh, it's just... That is now 100% the Hyundai finished uh, with the crazy CAN bus all caused by uh, the rear reversing camera. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, happy Christmas, and I'll see you in the next one.